Okay, after you have successful import your geometry into the CFD, basically the operation it will be just like the inventor, no matter it is move or rotate. For internal flow, first thing first is we need to define the domain and our system or the part over here basically they are open in order to define the domain first we need to close the system we are going to use geometry tools to close the system now over here first use void fill and select the edge now when the time you select this edge, this edge basically will help you to close the system or we say that to define the domain. Because here it is open and another side also is open. We need to close these two so-called the endpoint to define the domain internal flow within the pipe. So now I will select this edge to close it. And then I will use build surface now you see there is a surface actually is created basically this surface it is not really a geometry we need not to go and define the material or other things they are just there for us to do some reference or define input output only i will do the same thing on another side select the edge then I will click build surface. Now I close it again. If you feel something wrong, then you can use undo. Then you see that you back to normal. Open as well as here. Okay, so now I will repeat the same thing. Build it and also build the surface on another side. Now basically after I build it, I define the domain. I know that internally there is empty, a closed system. And if you want to define the empty, so called over here it is called void. We need to fill the void. If let's say you don't do anything, I just close it. And you look at your solid part which is your pipe. If I hide it, you see that basically internally it's empty left these two surface that we built to divide the domain now i will just show it again so now we need to fill or we need to define the internal emptiness as fluid either it is water or liquid or gas so we back to geometry tools back to the void fill and right now i will click Field word automatically the system will detect a closed so called a closed system in any of the geometry you have already input. So right now I click it. And you will observe that on your material beside just now just only have one solid part. Now you have a new volume. This volume it is what being created using the Feel void. Of course, if you feel that it's not uh, correct or something is wrong, you can still undo it. But right now, everything is good to me. So we examine it again. If I hide the part, then I can see that internally I have something already. That is my CFT volume using the fill word. You can even transparent the part now you can see that my part for the pipe is transparent but internally there is still something so as usual first we need to define the material so for the part we use edit to define the material and because of my pipe is a solid so in the type, 
I'm going to choose solid and look for the material that you want to assign to your pipe. Let's say I do select PVC and then I will apply. And right now you can see that your pipe, the solid part, it is being assigned as PVC. Okay, next it is the volume that we created using the word field. And basically you can see that they are still unassigned. And I will do the same thing, edit, right click edit. And we know that they are flipped. So if it is flipped, you still need to define what type of flip they are. So inside the library, you can see that it is all type of the common flip that you can select. Let's say right now I am just uh, select a water and I apply. And now you can see that that void that I have created it is water. So right now my system it is like a pipe, PVC pipe. Internally that it is water filling. Okay, now next we need to define the boundary condition or here. So we need to create the boundary condition for the purpose to tell the computer where it is the input, where it is the output of the flowing direction. So let's say right now I would like to define that it is the input and there is the output. So I will create a new boundary condition. The BC here is mean boundary condition. So first I will define a pressure, absolute pressure on the output as zero Pascal. Okay, so apply it. And you can see that I have created the surface 10 here is doesn't mean that they are having 10 surface over there. It's just a name. So I will create the input. So I will click, click another new boundary condition. Select the surface. Okay, and I will use the volume flow rate. If you don't, you want to use other also no issue. Let's say mass flow rate or even velocity. Okay. So depend. So you can even change the direction and you can see the error pointing. And then I will give a unit for the volume flow rate. The unit by default meter square per second. You can change the unit accordingly. But right now it's good to me. So we give, let's say it is 100. So now I have defined volume flow rate. Okay. It's okay. Now, after we have defined all this, the material and also the boundary condition. So next thing is we go and solve it. I click solve. It may take some time for it. So right now, when the time we start the solve, and we just let the computer to run until you see they given you a message analysis successful then it will stop or else when it is running uh, we don't touch we just let it be okay i will talk about the result analysis on the next video thank you very much